I didn't. I didn't actually know I was getting an award tonight because um, I didn't expect one. I, I was. I was coming here to um, support the cause. I got an email from Emily about three months ago telling me about the thing, and I said, "Of course, I'll turn up." Um, so turning up today and saying you're getting an award is um, yeah, pretty wild. But yeah, um, I. Um, I. I was a very, very, very weird child. Very weird child. Um, and I had. Uh, I had a, a Port Weinstein birthmark on my face that. I got lasered off when I was very young, and one day they forgot to put the anaesthetic on, and then ever since then I had a stutter. And I also had very, very big blue NHS glasses. NHS is the National Health Service. One day I hope you'll have the same. Um, <laughs> just saying. And um, I lacked, lacked an eardrum on one side of my face, so to uh, one side of um, my ear. Uh, so um, stuttering was actually the least of my problems when I went to school. <laughs> Uh, but it was still, it was still quite a, um, still, still quite a, uh, a, a difficult thing. And the thing that I found uh, most difficult about it was knowing what to say, but not really being able to express it in the the right way. Um, so I, d I did different speech therapies and stuff, which wasn't very successful. Um, I had uh, homeopathy, which is like herbs and shit where you're drinking a drink. And it's, <laughs> it's, it's all right. Um, but uh, I got, I got heavily into music. Um, at a young age and got very, very into rap music. Um, uh, Eminem was the first first album that my dad bought me. I remember my uh, Uncle Jim um, told my dad that Eminem was the next Bob Dylan when I was... Uh, uh, <laughs> say what you want, it's pretty, pretty, pretty similar. But um, it's all just all, all storytelling. So my dad bought me uh, the Marshall Mathers LP when I was nine years old, not knowing what was on it, um, <laughs> and let me listen to it. And I learned every word of it back to front by the age I was 10, and he raps very fast and very melodically and very percussively, and um, it helped me get rid of the stutter. And then from there, I just kind of carried on, did some music, and now I'm here. But it's, uh, I, 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 think, I think the one, the, the one thing I wanted to convey in my speech today for, for um, not so much the adults here, because I feel like the adults are fine. You're all, you're all sorted. Everyone here's got a lot of money, and everyone's chilling. But more the. Um, more the kids that are that that I hear that are going through the therapy, and I I, I want to stress the point that it's not s stuttering is not is not a thing you have to be worried about at all. And even if you have quirks and weirdness, you shouldn't be worried about that. I think the most the people that I went to school with were the, were the most normal and were the coolest when we grew up. Like I was telling Emily earlier that uh, one of the cool kids from school now does my plumbing. So that's <laughs> that's a fact. That's a fact. So. Um, being, um, <laughs> uh, my my thing that I wanted to stress most tonight is not is not is not necessarily to to shed light on stuttering or make it or make it a a thing. Is to just um, um, stress to kids in. In, in, in general is to just be yourself because there's no one in the world that can be a better you than you and if you try to be the cool kid from class you'll end up being very boring and doing plumbing for someone that you don't really want to do plumbing for um, and uh, yeah it's just be your, be yourself embrace your quirks being being weird is a it is 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 is, is a wonderful thing and uh, it has led for so many creative people and not even just creative people like you you I own a fucking football team now, and that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> but I think, you know, just... Um, I'm not very good at speeches. I don't do a lot of speeches. But I, I, I think the one thing I want to say is, is, is be yourself, embrace your quirks, in, 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 embrace your weirdness. And from a, um, from a stuttering point of view, don't, don't treat it as an issue. You know, work, work through it and get the treatment that you, you want to get, but don't, don't ever treat it as an issue and don't see it as a, um, a plight on your life and uh, carry on pushing forward. And I did all right. You can do all right as well. Emily did all right. Nice one. Thank you.